South African Supervision Academy was established by the Treaty of the East African Community in 1971 to train pilots and aircraft maintenance engineers for the then East African Airways. Uh, the, it was supported by the United Nations Development Program, which purchased aircraft and uh, Instructors were picked from the three East African partner states. Then was Uganda, Kenya, and the United Republic of Tanzania. The school regularly until today belongs to the East African community. However, efforts are underway to have the government of Uganda own and manage the academy. The academy has two Organizations. One, it is a, an approved training organization and an approved maintenance organization. Approved training organization it is, the, it, it is the site of where we do the training, and the maintenance organization is where we repair and service the training aircraft. We train students to do aircraft maintenance. Basically, we are offering two courses in this school. That's uh, the mechanical course of engine and airframe, commonly known as A and C in the aviation uh, field. Then we also offer a course in electrical, known as X electrical, uh, which is tending towards avionics. standing beside an engine because I am an engineering student. I am doing uh, engineering of airframe and uh, power plant, that is A and C. It's um, a beautiful thing to be here. The ATO is the operator of the aircraft and we in the AMO, we are the maintenance service provider for the aircraft operated by the Academy. Our work is to ensure that these aircraft are maintained in airworthy condition. We work on a beach craft, uh, on a beach baron G58, which is a twin engine aircraft, for advanced multi-engine training for the training organization. And then also we work on another twin engine, which is a Cessna 310R. It is for multi-engine training. It is a twin engine aircraft. Then we have the single engine trainers. Those are the Cessna 172 that we have in our fleet for single engine training for, for pilots. I am a student pilot. I'm currently a PPL holder. I was inspired to join the aviation community because of the pre-existing notions of what a lady can and cannot do. I particularly like going for things that are seemingly out of reach and aviation just happened to be one of them. And uh, I must say it's been a journey and one worth having. What I've found in the academy so far is a warm and hospitable environment. People are so friendly. There's lots of people encouraging you from the engineers to, to the staff, support staff, to everyone in the academy. I do not know if it's because there's few ladies, but it's actually cutting across because even with the gentlemen, it's very a very welcoming ambience that is created. So you might be out there and you have a dream. You're wondering what would it take? How do I get there? How do you become like me? I want to encourage you because one day I was there and I've been, I've been able to attain this career and we are interested in applicants that have attained the age of 17. Uh, you need to have passed at physics and mathematics at A-levels. East African Supervision Academy is the biggest and the, uh, the biggest training, the approved training organization in Uganda. I therefore call upon uh, leading aviators who then want to become pilots and aircraft engineers to come and join us.